Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be showing how I line up my walleye jig rods. This is a St. Croix Premier. Um, I think it's a 26 or 28 inch, I forget. It's a medium heavy action. I'm going to be lining that up with some Spiderwire Ultracast Invisibraid. This is 15 pound with 4 pound diameter. This is nearly translucent underwater, so I figured it's going to be pretty good for uh, jigging walleyes. We're going up to Lake Winnipeg the last week of March and it's got a four pound diameter. It's heavier line So I would think it would work pretty good um, It's a little spendy though. I think it paid like $18.99 before tax for one spool And this is like I said, it's only 125 pound or 125 yard spool So let's hope it's some good stuff um, It's pretty spendy um, I'll be lining that up today it's a braid going on a, sp a spinning reel. Normally you gotta put a mono backing on or something, but uh, today I just put a piece of electrical tape on there. I've done that several times and I've never had any problems with the line spinning on the spool. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna be holding the line with my foot or with my fingers here and keep attention on it. This ain't gonna take long. It's only gonna be 50 yards, I think, going on here. I actually went down to Gander Mountain. They're going out of business. They have a ton of sales right now. I got a bunch of baits for my trip to Winnipeg. I got um, a bunch of clacking wraps for pallet clacking wraps. I got the sixes, the sevens, and one eight. I think I picked up. I think I picked up like ten of them. And I'll show you here in a minute which ones I picked up, but. I picked up quite a few of them, and I think the total came to like a, just over a dollar per per lure. I think the sale is like 60 to 80 percent off the entire store now. So if you guys get a chance, you got a Gander Mountain nearby, it's worth going to check out. My buddy picked up one of the the extreme coolers, the Gander Mountain brand coolers. You know, kind of a knockoff of Yeti, and. Um, he picked up one of those. I think it was normally 470 bucks, and he got it for like 400. Or it was normally 470. He picked it up for like 250. My wife bought a Columbia coat, which was normally 180 dollars. She picked it up for 45. So they got a ton of sales right now. And the cashier told us that the last week of the sale, if you go in and spend 100 dollars, you get to fill up a cart with anything that's left in the store. I don't know what all that includes. If it's deer rifles or bows or anything like that. There was a lot of deer rifles left. I didn't go look at them. I'm not in the market to buy one right now. But, but that would be cool. There's a ton of lures and stuff left too. Not much for rods left, but tons of lures, tons of clothes, all that stuff. So I got a pretty good spool on there already. Um, now I'm going to tie on a swivel, a barrel swivel. And I use the same knots for everything. Um, it's called a fisherman's knot. That's what we always called it. But I think there's like a hundred different knots that are all called the fisherman's knot. But what I do here is I just put it through the eye of the, the swivel. I twist it like seven or eight times. Good. And I take the end put it back through the loop right at the swivel I'm not very good at this anymore, my eyes are getting bad come on right, this stuff is thin I'm not used to tying stuff this thin it's pretty crazy how they got 15, 15 pound line, four pound diameter. All right, so we got the swivel tied on there tight. It's a little tighter, I guess. Cut the extra off. I 
wife's going to love that I'm cutting on her table. All right, so we got this, the swivel on there. Now, what I'm going to do for a leader on here is a 20 pound Berkley Vanish leader material. Um, I use this on all my tip ups, um, especially for walleye tip ups. I use this. The stuff is awesome. I, I, I've said it in uh, my fishing equipment tour video. Um, this stuff, I've used it on my tip ups for years for pike tip ups and everything. And I've only been ever bitten off two times and I think that was just because I wasn't taking the time you know just being lazy and not switching out my leader as often as I should you got to switch them out once in a while otherwise you know they get damaged teeth marks in them and stuff and they will they will adventure eventually break on you but I think it's gonna work awesome on here on these jig poles I went with 20 pound too just because you know, it's Canada. You want a little extra protection from those pipe that are going to come hit these baits too, you know. We're going to be jigging with mainly um, lipless crankbaits up there. Ripping wraps, clacking wraps, live targets, jackals, all kinds of stuff. And the northerns are going to like them just as much as the walleye. So if a northern's around and they see it, they're going to come hit it and I don't want to get bitten off. Uh, I, yeah, I got a good deal on these ones, but you know, like those live targets, those are $13, $14 lures, which is not really the most important part. You know, it could be the fish of a lifetime, and I don't want to get bitten off. That's the, that's the main part. I might, I might even have to switch these out, you know, these leaders throughout the week. I'm going to be up there for like six or seven days. So I might have to switch them out and they're gonna be catching a lot of fish. So might have to switch these out once or twice in that time period. This tight on, nice and tight. We'll take. I'm just gonna cut a section off here first. I don't know how long to go with yet. Tangle up here. I don't know how that happened. Okay, got that out. I'm gonna cut that extra off. Now, I'm going to tie on another swivel. I just had one a minute ago. I just got a new one. And tie another clip swivel onto the end. Let's see. This leader might be a little long. I don't know. We'll see. Should have went 18 inches, two feet maybe, maybe longer.
then I'm just gonna flip a beta. I don't have to put one on just yet, but I'm going to just so I got something to hook on. My buddy that goes up there that I'm going with, he said gold seems to be a good color every year, so that's that's just what I'll put on here today. few months yet. <laughs> this is the bait. These are the clack and wraps. Everybody said gold works good so that's what this one is. I got a bunch of them here. I, like I said I bought 10. I have a bunch here in my box too of stuff that I have already have. Um, a setup like this is what I'm going to be doing with most of my poles. Um, should work good. Um, if I left anything out or if I do something differently than what you do comment down below. Let me know what you do, what I did wrong. Um, like I said, I'm here to learn just as much as you guys, but this is what I do, and I think it should work all right. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. You'll get a notification every time I do a video. Um, I'm actually going to leave here in a minute and go do another video um, with my dog. Um, but yeah, comment down below, subscribe, like the video, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and join me again.